Hey guys, what's up? Trish here. I'm back like I promised in the last video. I am here to do the Fenty hair review. Finally, <laughs> I'm finally doing the review. So guys, we're going to jump right into it. Uh, the first step, of course, is the shampoo process. And let me tell you guys what I've done so far. Uh, in the last video, I told you guys I had pre-pooled my hair. I had it up under this uh, scarf. And what I've done is I rinsed the pre-poo out. And I did my first shampoo with a cleansing shampoo. I wanted to do that first. One, I had the pre-poo in. And then I kind of had, you know, had some gel and things like that in. So I want to make sure I really had a clean uh started off with a clean cleansing shampoo um now with that uh i'm going to use the fenty and it is the fenty hair the rich one moisture repair shampoo so this is going to serve as my moisturizing shampoo so uh let's get started and um uh, they have uh a QR code on the back you can click on it and it take you uh, to the site and it's just the regular process apply the wet hair work up into a foaming lather and rinse and that's what I'm gonna do but let me show you what it's looking like under here and it should be very wet and I'm doing it right here guys cuz I do not have the whole little shower set up so I'm gonna do it right here for you guys and it is dripping wet. So I'm gonna start on this side. And hopefully this pump, oh yes! Don't you like when the pumps just pop up? Okay, good deal. So I'm gonna apply some to my hand. This is what it looks like, uh, a really clear, it's a clear, not you not that pearly look okay I'm gonna apply that to my hair okay wow wow okay <laughs> it is lathering right up mm. Mm, it smells good uh, it is a uh, uh, floral a floral scent, a, a light floral scent is not overpowering. Wow, it really lathered up quick. I like that. Okay. Okay, Rihanna. Wow. Wow, I didn't put any more on my hand, guys. So that showed you a little goes a long way wow okay it feels good so far and mind you I did use a cleansing shampoo for that first shampoo okay wow okay so far so good Let's see how it rinses out. Get that scalp. Okay. Let me do one more. I'm do this one in the front. It really didn't take much. I'm going to put one more tiny little pump. It does not take much at all. It feels nice, creamy. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. We'll see how it feels when I rinse it out. Okay, let's rinse this out. Okay guys, I have finished the shampooing process 
and I must say I think I like the shampoo um, I like the lather I was able to um, really get my scalp clean my hair felt um, really nice it felt um, clean but it wasn't like uh, like a squeaky squeaky like too squeaky but it was a little squeaky clean and I was able to separate my hair into sections which I like to do I kind of like to keep my hair organized throughout the process so I was easily able to do that and uh, my hair still felt nice it does uh, feel like uh, a shampoo that is on a more moisturizing side for sure okay so this is what it's looking like. Okay, it, it, it looks a, a lot cleaner than me. Okay, so this is what it's looking like after shampooing. Yeah, the hair is clean. Mm-hmm. So, all right. Now, um, as far as the next step, um, you have some different options. I could have used a comeback kid, which is an instant damage repair treatment. And um, I didn't want to use this. And this is something you can put in and rinse out, or you can put it in and leave it in. And I, I decided not to use this one this time. And then the other product they have is the protective type, the five in one, and it's a heat protecting styler. So I'm not uh, gonna be, you know, straightening my hair or anything like that. So I won't be using this um, this time either, okay? So I'm going with uh, deep conditioner and it is the Fenty Hair Rich One Moisture Repair Deep Conditioner. And it says apply to damp hair. It says focus um, like mid shaft to ends, but I'm thinking I'm probably gonna put it throughout my strands. Okay, so I gotta take it off like this. It has a protective seal. I'm gonna scrape that. Mm. Mm, it has such a light, pretty smell. A light, pretty floral scent mm, oh I love that this is what it's looking like it's very creamy and it says to apply uh, like I said from mid shaft they said focus on mid shaft to ends and it says you can rake it in with your fingers or you can use a comb so you guys know I'm going to use fingers okay so that was just a little taste. But I'm right now I'm just kind of stretching my hair out a little bit. Because it is super clean and hydrated. So you can see, you can tell that by the shrinkage. And what I did was, because um, my hair was long overdue for some TLC, um, when I rinsed out the pre-pool, I just really let um, the water run through my hair to get it nice and hydrated not only to uh, rinse out the pre-poo and whatever you know residual products from previous styling I just you know let that water run through to rinse that out as well as to you know hydrate my hair before I use that cleansing shampoo and then you guys saw me apply the Fenty Hair uh, Shampoo uh, Moisture. What is it again? Uh, moisture Repair Shampoo, which uh, I think it's nice. It's a nice shampoo. So far, so good. This is feeling good. It's feeling kind of smooth. Uh, and it says focus mid shaft and ends. I did get it up in here. I do like to get it throughout and I'm not light handed with my deep conditioning you guys know I'm heavy handed pretty much with all the products but definitely with my deep conditioners okay it's going through smoothly let's see now 
it says apply and rinse out it doesn't say anything about heat so i'm just wondering ugh, what should i do i think i'm gonna let it definitely marinate in my hair for a little while because i do have low porosity hair and that's just how i do my hair i like to let my deep conditioner marinate if not add heat but it doesn't say add heat so i don't know i'm on the fence about it i might i might um put it through really good and then um maybe sit under the dryer with a plastic cap and all maybe 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 about 20 minutes i think that's what i might do because like i said my hair is a little overdue for some tlc i want to make sure i get it through okay i like the smoothness of it it's 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 a really creamy i would say it, it's not heavy and it's not real light it's like an in-between You can definitely feel something there, uh, some like smoothness, uh, creaminess. Okay. And I'm just doing a little finger detangling. And I do most of my detangling after I let it marinate a little bit. But right now I'm doing some, just a little lightweight finger detangling. And it, it seems to be uh going through fine it's not hard it's not rough so it's, it seems good okay but we will tell after i let it sit for a while i'm add a little bit more to this mid shaft and ends and then i'm gonna twist it up So, I got it applied to this section. I'm going to finish applying it to my hair. I'm definitely going to put it under plastic cap in my scarf. I might sit under the heat. I'll let you guys know when I come back. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. I have finished applying the deep conditioner. I must say, I felt it went on smoothly. Um... I kind of enjoyed my um, deep conditioning experience, uh, but what I am going to do, I'm going to put on a plastic cap. I decided I'm going to put on a plastic cap, put on my scarf, and I am going to get under some heat. That's just how I like to do it. It does not say that in the instructions. The instructions basically say to apply the damp hair, rake it in with uh, fingers or a comb, and rinse out, but you know i'm low porosity and i gotta be a little more extra with my strand so i'll come back and show you the end you know of the deep conditioning what it's looking like and then i'm gonna get in the shower and rinse it out and get ready uh, for my styling which i'm gonna do a twist out stay tuned okay guys i just got from under the dryer i sat under the dryer maybe like 20 minutes is feeling really good this is what it's looking like it feels soft let me try to get it through the comb okay and all I did was finger detangle okay I got a few tangles in here I can feel it but I am able to get through it and all I did was a little bit of finger detangling okay 
so that feels good okay okay so guys what i'm getting ready to do now is get into the shower um uh, rinse my hair out and take my shower and then the last part of uh, styling my hair will be to um, do my twist out with the twisting cream okay so I'm going to uh, comb through the other sections get in the shower take my shower rinse it out and i'll be back so far so good i'm liking this stay tuned okay guys i am back <laughs> i have rinsed the deep conditioner out and again let me show you this is it the richer one moisture repair deep conditioner i rinsed that out uh in the shower um, and you know took my shower so now we're at the final step and I'm going to use uh, the Fenty Hair Home Curl Curl Defining Cream so let's open this up take off the protective seal okay it's not the consistency that I thought wait a minute okay this is what it looks like Mm. It has that same light fragrance. This is what it looks like. Do you guys see that? Hmm. Now, um, like I said, all of the products have uh, uh, a QR code on the back where you can uh, scan it with your phone and you can go out there and get um, more information about the product. It shows different hair textures that it's used on it shows you know how uh, you combine the products like what I'm doing which I use the uh, moisture shampoo I use that deep uh, moisture um, deep conditioner and now I'm using the home curl but uh, let me get my towel I'm dripping uh, um, I used the I'm using the home curl and what it said as far as the instructions it says um divide hair into sections which i have my hair divided into sections and then it says apply um to each section from root to ends and then it says rake through with fingers or a comb and then it says scrunch to encourage curl definition hmm. Now, I was planning on doing a twist out, so I'm going to apply it, and I'm going to see how it feels. I can't see me just scrunching it in, but we can ready to find out. That's what the directions say, but this is what my hair is looking like after the deep conditioner has been rinsed out. Ooh, it's wet. Look at that, guys. My texture coming through. And when you see your texture coming through, it is a sign of moisture. And I needed some moisture in my hair, guys, because it had kind of been neglected. So I'm going to put some on this section. And uh, it felt soft and everything when I rinsed it out. And it still feels soft. See, guys, you can see my texture coming through. It feels good. Okay, Rihanna. Okay, Rihanna. So far, so good. So, let me try this cream. When I saw that scrunching, scrunch it in, that kind of took me back a little bit. So, I'm going to start with this amount right here. It has a that's similar uh, floral fragrance. Really light. Rub it in good. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. I'll rub a little bit more on the ends. Yeah, I think I'm... <laughs> I don't think any scrunching going on here. I think I'm just going to do a twist up. 
I'm gonna make sure I got it in here. I'm not gonna use too much. I do not want flakes. So it feels good though. It's it's a different consistency. I was expecting more of a like a, a really cream, creamy, but it's like this. Again, show you guys. Hmm. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what it does. I think I got it in here good. I think I'm going to make a uh, smaller twist this time instead of the big chunky ones. They're going to be medium chunky. And you guys seen me twist before, but I'll do a couple on camera for you. Yeah, it was saying scrunch in, but uh, for those directions where they just applied it to the hair and scrunched it, um, that was for uh, the model had a very loose texture, very loose, uh, like almost like a wavy texture. I think I'm just going to twirl the ends. And there we go. That's the first one. So, guys, I'm going to finish up twisting my hair off camera and I'll come back to show you what it's looking like before I wrap it up and get ready for bed. Be right back. Oh, it feels good. Feels good. Okay, guys, I am back. It's not the next day because my hair wasn't dry <laughs> the next day, but it is the day after. I've taken down most of the twist this is what it's looking like got some nice little shine nice definition upon initial takedown this is the last twist that I'm going to take down and I had about maybe 15 twists I didn't make them as chunky as I normally do I made them kind of medium medium chunky and this is what they're looking like feels good bouncy and again you guys can see the shine on them so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go separate them a little more and I'm gonna fluff them and I'm gonna come back and show you the results and I'm also gonna give you guys my final thoughts on this new Fenty hairline stay tuned okay guys i am back i did the initial unraveling and fluffing and this is what my hair is looking like the, i think the definition is great um it feels soft but to me it doesn't feel moisturized it does not feel moisturized. And remember, now, what I did. I shampooed my hair. I deep conditioned my hair. And then I used the... One more product. I used the Fenty Hair Home Curl Curl Defining Cream to style my hair. I did not use a leave-in. A leave-in did not come with the line. Um... And, and this is with the bundle that I got. It came with the protective type 5 and one which um, from my understanding, based on what I looked at, this is something that you would use if you were going to like blow dry and straighten your hair. And then the other product, the Comeback Kid, it says Instant Damage Repair Treatment. 
and it says repair reduces breakage conditions for smoother shinier healthier looking style so um with it saying repair i didn't think it was a leave-in and i did not use it as a leave-in so maybe next time i might try this as a leave-in but when i um used the qr code and for what i did there was a process for that which was to shampoo deep condition and use the uh, home curl uh, curl defining cream so that's exactly what i did now like i said um my hair it looks cute you know and i haven't stretched it or anything and i did do this on soaking with hair so i got a lot of shrinkage here um and i am probably gonna stretch it but i want to you guys to see what it looked like right after i you know um unraveled my twist and i kind of separated them this is just initial separation which the definition is great um it does not feel like like super dry but it does not feel moisturized it does not feel moisturized um so i think uh, this bundle would benefit from a leave-in but i'm not sure is this supposed to be the leave-in so i will try it again and i will use this and see maybe if there's a difference or just you know what i think like, mm, maybe if I had a used it, maybe if I had a, you know, uh, on top of this home curl, maybe put a oil. I don't know. I don't know. But, I mean, the definition is nice. And like I said, it's, it feels kind of soft. But, you know, soft and moisturized, they're two different things. So, it feels soft. It does not feel dry, but... Again, it does not feel moisturized, but um, it doesn't feel like I, I'm. It does not feel dry, dry. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm cool with it. It's not like you know how oh it feels horrible. It, it does not. But you know, I, I I like a little more like moisturized feeling. But it doesn't feel bad where I will you know walk away from you know just doing this saying oh it feels horrible no it doesn't it does not feel horrible and the definition is great so i'm gonna stretch it a little bit because it's a little too <laughs> shrunken for my liking i'm gonna stretch it a little bit and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna give you guys my final thoughts stay tuned okay guys i am back i have as you see i've stretched my hair this is what it's looking like it looks really cute um it's really defined got a little tiny bit of shine to it it feels uh for the most part pretty soft again you know even after i you know stretched it out um it feels soft it doesn't feel dry but it does not feel uh moisturized to me um so guys i'm gonna uh, go through the products that i used from the fenty line and i'm gonna give you guys my honest um thoughts on them the different products okay i only use three products today uh the first product that i used was the fenty rich one moisture repair shampoo i use this first to shampoo my hair i like the shampoo i think the scent is great i think my my hair felt good it felt clean but it didn't feel uh too squeaky it didn't it, it felt like it was a moisturizing shampoo so i do like the shampoo the second product was, what did I do with it? Uh, hold on, guys. Okay. The second product that I used was the Fenty Richer One 
moisture repair deep conditioner. I used this. Um, I applied it to my hair. It went on smooth. I did enjoy my deep conditioning process. Again, you guys, I am a deep conditioning girl. So I like how it went on. It went on really smooth. It had, uh, I would say, a medium slip to it. It wasn't like a product with the most slip, but it wasn't something I had to struggle with. So I would say it would, it had a medium, nice slip to it. So I applied that to my hair. Now, one thing I did, you know, when I applied it to my hair, I did uh, put on my plastic cap and my scarf and I did sit under dryer for like 20 minutes. That's something that I do that I like to do. One, because I am a low porosity girl and I just like to give my deep conditioners a chance to uh, marinate and penetrate, you know, my, my strands. And um, I felt that after I got under, I got from under the dryer, I was able to go through my hair. Uh, do some additional finger detangling, even take the comb and go through my hair and, and detangle. So I was able to do that with this. So um, I think this is uh, a nice deep conditioner and I do plan on uh, using it again. So that's that with the deep conditioner. Um, the final product that I used was the Styler, which was the Fenty Hair Home Curl Curl Defining Cream. I used this to set my twist. And um, it had a nice consistency. It was smooth going on. And, um, you know, I had no problems with it. Now, the only thing is... Um, each one of the products has a, a QR code on the back of it. And when you um, go to the QR code, it brings up the site and it kind of tells you, uh, you know, uh, how to use this. You can use it with uh, the shampoo, the deep conditioner, and then use this as the styler and it has different textures of hair that you can look at you know I guess kind of as a guide and so the textures that I looked at that were similar to mine they used the shampoo the deep conditioner and the home curl of defining curl cream and um, so that's you know what I follow now guys what I noticed when I took my hair down and unraveled it I did have fine bits of snow I don't know if you can see it on me um you know looking at my hair let me get up a little closer I don't know if you can see it in my hair but it it's really fine and you guys know you know if you've done your hair before and you know the different products that we use some products they like you see it on your hair and then some products maybe if you use a little too much you you might get that little fine you know um flakes or snow that's what i feel i got um I'm not sure if I used too much, and you guys know I'm heavy-handed. I kind of think I did, but uh, when I went out there to look at the instructions, you know, sometimes, you know, when you look at uh, the directions, it might say, use generously or use sparingly. It didn't say that. It just said, apply the hair. So, I think I might have applied a little generously I, I'm <laughs> real confident to say I think I did apply it generously and maybe that's why I got a little snow but I'm not really seeing it you know just looking at the hair straight on so I just want to let you guys know that I did get a little flakes now it looked good 
to me. It's very defined. You know, I'm, I'm really liking how it looks. Um, like I said, it pre- it feels pretty soft. It got it got movement. You know, this is what it's looking like, guys. So I like that part. Got a little shine on, just a little shine. Um, and I like that. But I feel it could. I feel like I I like my hair to feel a little more moisturized. Now, so I went back. I looked at the QR code again and another combination that can be done with this is the shampoo the comeback kid instant damage repair treatment and this is you can rinse it out or you can leave it in now I would probably want to leave it in as a leave-in so you can do the shampoo the Comeback Kid Instant Damage Repair Treatment, and then the Fenty Hair Home Curl Styler. So I think I want to I want to give that a try and see how I like it. But as far as what we did today, the shampoo, the deep conditioner, and uh, the hair cream, these are my results. I think it looks really cute. I think it feels, you know, okay. I would like a little bit more moisture. Um, and I, and again, I'm just not sure about this. Is this supposed to be a leave-in? I'm not sure about it. So I'm going to have to go and look at the site a little more. Maybe they'll put some, you know, more information out about it or some videos. But if it's not a leave-in, I think this line would benefit from a leave-in I really do uh, the styler I think it works you know great I got great definition and it feels you know uh, pretty good but I would like a little more moisture so that's just me I think it could benefit from a leave-in so as far as my final thoughts I really like the shampoo I like the deep conditioner. I like how my hair looks <laughs> with uh, using the home curl cream. I think I might have used a little too much. I got a little snow. No, no, if you guys can see, got a little bit of very fine snow, but my hair is very defined. It got a little shine to it. Um, I think it looks really cute. Uh, it has, you know, a fluffy uh, feel to it. And that's after me, you know, stretching it a little bit. Um, I just would like a little bit more moisture, uh, a moisturized feel into my hair, um, you know, from using the products. And I really think um, the line could benefit from a leave-in conditioner if this is not considered the leave-in. It, does. it says that you can rinse it out or you can use it as a leave-in. So that's probably going to be my next video. I was going to use the, um, I got it here. I was going to use the uh, Stronghold Gel, but I might give the shampoo uh another try the shampoo and the home curl cream another try and using this as a leave-in and see what happens see how it feels i think that's what i'm gonna do but uh yeah i think you know the products are decent uh like i said my hair looks good it uh it feels fluffy and soft i just would like a little bit more uh moisture you know uh, my hair to feel a little bit more moisturized and uh that's it that's it guys um as far as the fragrance is nice uh, as far as how you know the consistency and how the products you know uh, uh were applied to my hair and how i was able to apply them and work them in if all that was fine i just would like for my hair to feel a little bit more moisturized so 
um that's it guys that's it for this video those are my thoughts and my experience with using the products i look forward to uh, trying out you know the products that i haven't used yet like this comeback kid and the uh, stronghold gel i look forward to trying those and i hope you guys tune in because i'll be coming out with videos on that soon i'm just gonna have me a, a little a bit of a fenty her series going on so i can you know experience the different products if you guys like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone else who you feel will benefit from the information. And come back to see me. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I drop a new video. Until the next one, peace.